Let's talk about some nitty gritty stuff, because I always love these kinds of like under the hood things. And I bet you were really excited to see this. And I'm not joking. Slash boot on a new install is going from one gigabyte to two gigabytes. Yeah, it's probably about time. If you're just upgrading, of course, that's not going to be the case. But uh, yes. How big do you make your slash boot? <laughs> yep. I mean, at I least a gig, probably, probably two. I've gone up to five before. Yeah. A five is my max. Two is my minimum. Two is my minimum. I like having some excess space. Maybe you store like an emergency ISO on there or backups and stuff. Brent, do you have a minimum size for your slash boot? Yeah, I go at least two. Yeah. Um, I've certainly run into issues on encrypted systems where kind of everything gets stored there. And definitely Ubuntu is mm, when my parents are using it, let's say. It's not great at expunging things in there. So they have way too many kernels and stuff. And that has brought down my mother's computer more times than I care to yep. admit. So yep. I now have like a task every six-ish months I had to go through and clear that because it's a tiny little boot. Uh, so I say, you know, disk is cheap. Make it as large as, I don't know, just go crazy. Yeah.